Alright guys, so today I'm going to be going through some weird Titanic facts and hopefully at least one or two of these kind of weird facts you haven't heard of. If you're a real Titanic sleuth, you've probably heard of most of these, but I do have around 14 or 15 different facts, including one that's just kind of a rumor, it's a fringe, but it is interesting. Let's get right into it, starting with the first weird fact, Titanic when it was first built, did look exactly like the Olympic. It was originally fitted with an open A-deck Promodon. Uh, they only changed it after they realized on its sister ship, the Olympic, which was launched before the Titanic, no one, none of the first class passengers needed the open A-deck Promodon, so they closed it up and put in a cafe as well as the exclusive private Promodon rooms. There's a nice image of the Titanic and Olympic right next to each other before the Titanic received its renovation and closed up a deck Promodon. You can see it's open right there. So kind of an interesting fact, Titanic actually received a renovation before the ship set sail in 1912. The next fact, many rooms on the Titanic towards the bow of the ship sank in complete darkness. There's a few different reasons why this happened. Number one, Titanic was not fully booked, so many of the rooms, their lights never turned on anyways. And number two, we see in the movie basically every single light turned on the ship. That's just really not how it was. So many of the rooms filled with ocean water in the pitch black cold darkness. The third fact is that the Titanic Grand Staircase Dome did not have artificial light. And this was a recent thing that people just found Originally, it was thought, and it was depicted in the 1997 film, if you look along both sides of the reception room and of the first class dining area, you will see artificial natural light being pumped into the room, even if it's at midnight, it looks like it's light out. That was real. They really had that. They had artificial lights behind those windows to where it made it seem like if you were dining or if you were in the reception room, it, there was natural light at any time of day, but they did not have it for the dome because they found out it was very hard to light up the full dome with artificial light. The dome is a lot less lit up, and that's one of the sad things. I really liked the look of it in the movie. If it's like at 11 o'clock at night and the thing is lit up, it really looks beautiful. So that was kind of a sad fact that was realized. Uh, the fourth fact is the squash court was used for storage, and it was never used for its intended purpose. This is kind of the one that... It's more of a rumor, it's more of a theory that because Titanic was not fully booked, the squash court never got any play and it was mainly just used for storage towards the bow of the ship as it flooded. I mean, that room would have just been a complete lake of water towards the bow. It would have flooded pretty early on and it would have completely waterlogged the bow section. I believe the squash court was the largest interior room from floor to ceiling on the entire ship and it flooded relatively early on. So it really waterlogged the room and there are rumors that nobody actually used the squash court and it was just there for storage because the Titanic was not fully booked on its maiden voyage. The number five fact is third class passengers could hear the loud roar of the ship's engines in their cabins at all times. And yes, this really was not a Titanic thing. It was just an older, you know, 1910 thing or 1912 thing. Back then, the third class passengers with where they were located closer to the engine rooms, they did not have the preferred rooms, obviously. And with the technology back then, they weren't insulated from hearing the engines and of course because the Titanic was traveling across the Atlantic Ocean the engines are always gonna be on so that would have been very hard third class for me to sleep with the engines on I guess you just kind of get used to it another thing with the third class towards the bow of the ship some of their rooms were flooded virtually immediately like five minutes after the iceberg hit due to where they were located how low they were above the cargo hold. The number six fact is at 32 degrees, the iceberg that the Titanic struck was actually warmer than the ocean water in the Atlantic. The ocean waters that night were 28 degrees below the freezing point, which is 32 degrees, but not frozen because 
It is salt water. Uh, so that is, just, and, and that goes to the whole thing. People really don't realize how cold it was. I used, we used to have a pool, and when it was 50 degrees, it was unusable. That's how cold it was. Think about 50 degrees unusable. It was 28 degrees. The only reason the water was not frozen was because it contained salt in the iceberg. I don't know how true this was, but I, I read it somewhere. Apparently, the iceberg was warmer than the water. The, and the iceberg was originally from Greenland. It broke off. It was a gr glacier in Greenland as well. The number seven fact is that the U.S. Senate investigated into the disaster, which led to the recommendation that U.S. statues be changed to require all passenger vessels to carry sufficient lifeboats to accommodate every passenger and every member of the crew. And the best way this can be depicted is looking at the change in the Olympic. Obviously, the Titanic sinks. The Olympic, very similar looking model. They have to add a bunch of lifeboats to it just so it passes inspection and has enough for everyone on board. The number eight fact is the gymnasium was the most photographed room on the Titanic. Olympics gym as well, mostly due to it being used as a location for getting your picture taken sometimes, and it was located on the boat deck, kind of right in the middle of the ship or towards the middle of it. Seems like an adequate spot to take photos. It was the most photographed area of the Titanic. The number nine fact, this one I'm sure a lot of people know, there are no pictures of Titanic's grand staircase that we know of. It was a virtual direct replica of the Olympics. So they took all the interior pictures of the Olympic about a year before Titanic because the Olympic was newer and it was forced to launch. And any of the identical rooms in Titanic, or at least a lot of the identical rooms, did not get photographed. It is interesting. They did photograph both Olympics gym and Titanic's gym, but not the Grand Staircase. There are some good interior photos of the Titanic, uh, especially looking at the private Promadon deck. A lot of the first class big parlor suites were photographed, but the Grand Staircase, at least to our knowledge... Every old time black and white photo you see of the Grand Staircase, there's a 99.9% .9 chance it is the Olympic. And people get confused because yes, it was identical. It was virtually the same thing, but technically it was the Olympic. The number 10 fact is that first class dinners on Titanic lasted sometimes past midnight. Uh, you would have people being seated at six o'clock. It would go very, very late. They treated dinner back in the early 1900s, especially when it came to like the big first class dining room. They treated it as an event with multiple different courses, multiple different appetizers, multiple different desserts, and they would be sometimes eating dinner, different portions of it, talking for six or seven hours at a time, and then you would get mainly the men retiring to smoke cigars in the first class smoking room behind where the first class dining room was on the Titanic. The number 11 fact is that third class passengers only had two bathrooms to share between all 700 of them. Toilets also on the third class were self flushing, but the first class toilets were not because the shipbuilders presumed that third class passengers wouldn't know how to flush a toilet on their own. So think about that. Number one, 700 third class passengers, two bathtubs. I mean, you can, if you're a kid, you could, you got to use the sink. You got to bathe in the sink. And then also they, the third class were the ones with self flushing toilets, not the first class, but it was only because Many of the shipbuilders presumed the third class didn't know how to flush a toilet. Pretty crazy. The number 12 fact is the Californian was spotted from the Titanic's bridge 25 minutes after the initial iceberg impact and distress rockets were fired. Apparently, they could see the Californian very far away, the lights of it in the distance, and the Californian could also see the Titanic, but due to the ice field, the Californian was shut down for the night, not traveling anywhere. The number 13 fact is that the invisible lower part of the wreck, the wreck that is dug into the mud of the seafloor, is actually very well preserved and pretty much in the same condition as of 1912, at least the outer hull and paint where there is no rust because it is protected from the layers of mud that encased it all the way back over 100 years ago. I will say when, when people say this fact, 
it, it, we're, we're not talking about the interior. The interior is probably a complete mess. You know, it's probably collapsed on top of each other. It's just the way it hit into the, into the ocean floor. The entire thing was waterlogged, so there was so much weight collapsing onto the hull of it. Uh, but in terms of the outer area, like where the paint is, because the mud has surrounded that area, it's protected it from all the bacteria and everything like that. So it is theoretically thought to be well preserved. And then the number 14 fact is Titanic's first class swimming pool was naked. And, and, and by that, I mean, when you think of first class things, you think very fancy, very elegant. Not only was the swimming pool completely naked and had no real design, also the first class private bathrooms had no design either because at that time in the early 1900s, it was thought of as such a luxury even to have a swimming pool, even to have a private bathroom on a ship that they were not designed. There was no interior design to them. You could see the nuts and bolts and another thing, the Titanic did have a heated saltwater pool. The Olympic did not. That was the one improvement the Titanic had over it. But if you look at the swimming pool, it was very, very minimal. There was no design to it. It was just the fact that, hey, we have a pool and it's cool and it's only for first class people, but it was not fancy at all. If you look at later photos of the Britannic, that's probably what would have happened to the Titanic, probably an interior upgrade when it comes to that later in its life if it had not sunk. But guys, that's going to do it. Those are just 14 different interesting facts about the Titanic. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.